first lens I'll be talking about is the 35mm 1.4. This is my go-to lens for the dance floor, um, entrance dances, and I use it every now and then for couple portraits, bridal party shots, um, and it's it's excellent. Really sharp um, from corner to corner uh, at 1.4, fantastic. If you want to get that sort of blurry background, um, you know, soft bokeh, and I haven't had any issues in terms of sharpness even when stopping down. So um, this is something that religiously lives in my camera bag and I will continue using this for the next couple of years. Definitely future-proofed as well. Um, they've definitely nailed this in terms of just durability and the optics are just fantastic. So that's the first lens. The next lens is a 90mm G lens from Sony. This is a f2.8 aperture and um, I only ever use this for close-up shots. Um, things like, you know, wedding rings, the dress, jewellery, earrings, anything like that. And it's one of the first lenses I actually purchased when I moved over to Sony. Uh, I feel it gives you quite a unique perspective and I mean, some people would use this as a portrait lens but I, I just wouldn't do that because I find it's overly sharp for the skin and it will bring up every fine detail um, but yeah for me it's just going to be rings and jewellery and anything that I want to get I guess quite close up to beautiful lens uh, lives in my camera bag and I highly recommend this Next up is the 50mm G Master lens. This is an insanely sharp lens. It's, it's really good. I really do like this lens, um, but I feel like it hasn't got any character. I just feel like it's just, you know, you purchase this if you want the best, the best image quality, but the best image quality doesn't always equate to the most cinematic look. I mean, for me, I try and favor some lenses that will give me more character. Um, and this isn't one of them I feel I, I just feel like it's unnecessary at 1.2 unless you really need to gather in as much light as possible uh, during your shoot and um, I only ever use this during speeches if I'm honest uh, on the Sony A1 I will have it at 50mm if I need more you know if I need to bridge the gap in, in terms of focal length then I'll punch into APS-C mode and that will give me roughly around you know 85 millimeters and now we have my favorite telephoto lens in the world um, this is the Tamron 70 to 180 lens. I love this lens. I really love this lens. This, I feel, completely changed the way that I solo shoot weddings. I used to own the Sony 70 to 200, the F4 version, which was significantly heavier than this lens. And it just didn't make sense for me to own two of those, which weighed much more than having two of these. So I sold all of those ones and basically bought two of these and I only ever use this during the ceremony for my over the shoulder shots so when capturing the bride and the groom's face um yeah not much more to say on it incredible sharpness I personally believe that this is sharper than the Sony 70 to 200 f4 I don't know about the 2.8 g2 versions or the version 2 but um it just has it just has a, a beautiful look next we have the sigma 56 millimeter 1.4 lens this is a APS-C lens that i primarily use on the sony a1 in crop mode uh, it gives such a great look such a nice look and i only ever use this during the dance floor it's you know when i want to mix up some of my 35 millimeter shots with a few tight shots uh, in APS-C mode it's going to give me a 85 millimeter look and I mean it's just it's tiny it's tiny and it makes more sense bringing this than it does my 85 
definitely the better lens in my opinion if you want something that's lighter and if your camera has APS-C mode capabilities then definitely check out the 56mm Sigma brilliant lens the 50mm 1.4 super tachymo lens yes I have two 50mm lenses in my bag but this does what the Sony 50G Master cannot do, which is it gives me a lot of character, a lot. This is a manual focus lens, so there's no autofocus motors in there. Um, I'm mainly using this lens during cocktail hour, um, just capturing candid moments of guests. And I'm just sort of like, you know, handheld filming here and there, trying to be as incognito as possible. Um, keeping my distance and it's it's just got such a good look to it such a beautiful look um, you can't really I mean you can get these but you're gonna have to go on eBay if you want to pick this up so yeah 50 millimeter 1.4 super tachymo and the last lens is the Tamron 28 to 75 f 2.8 g2 lens I purchased this lens because it is the lightest standard zoom lens that you can buy for Sony full frame bodies and um, the only downside I can really think of is that you lose out on 4mm on the wide end but you gain 5mm on the long end. Um, it's great, it's a good lens, has great colours, uh, good character, um, brilliant sharpness from around f4 at 2.8 still good but from f4 is where i start to see that it, it comes toe to toe with the sigma which i think is the best um standard zoom that you can buy but just you know because i'm a you know solo shooter and especially when i'm doing destination weddings this is the better option it's easier to carry around the weight difference is significant so um if i'm in the uk and you know i the weight isn't a bother then i go for this when i'm going abroad then it's this but you're also you know you're you're, you're, you're choosing character and colors and, and lightweight over sharpness and build quality so this is a very solid lens. This is much more plasticky um, and is more prone to breaking basically. But yeah, I love it. Really great lens. Liz in my bag. Now I'm gonna go over the bodies that I use on the wedding day. So my A cam, the Sony A1, to me, the best camera that Sony offer in its mirrorless lineup. Um, it's everything I've ever wanted in the camera if I'm honest the 8k is a bonus it's not needed but it is really good for cropping in reframing um, another feature that I use quite heavily is the APS-C mode which there isn't a wedding I haven't used that one really really great and you're still getting amazing quality in that crop sensor mode which I think is fantastic this camera lives on the gimbal for most of the day but where necessary i'll swap out lenses might go handheld here and there but yeah this this one is my number one camera and the main one that i use during weddings i've also got a sony a7s3 which is my b cam and i will use this during the ceremony for the over the shoulder shot uh, so it will have the Tamron 70 to 180 on this during the ceremony um, and then throughout the day I'll switch out if I need to to whatever lens is required at the time but um, I guess with weddings it's always great to have a backup camera and um, yeah this is my B cam essentially and my third camera is the very popular Sony FX3 which is my C cam which sounds crazy to even say but I only really pull this out if I need a third angle covered. It is a great camera. It has got uh, amazing features, a solid build, but you're basically getting the Sony a7S III in a different body. One thing people don't seem to talk about much is the lack of an EVF, which I think um, is, a, is a downgrade, essentially. Uh, exposing your shot using an EVF 
is highly underrated. So I I just would never ever use this as my A cam. And I understand people will then, you know, rig this up to have a monitor on the wedding day, but it's just more effort. It's just more things to do on an already fast paced day. And now onto audio. The first device I'll be speaking about is the Sony TX660, which is very similar to the TX650, but this has ever so slightly better sound quality. Um, I would wrap this around the microphone during the reception or the ceremony. And I'm finding over the last couple of months that if you're pretty good at cleaning up your audio, you can get really amazing results from this. Yeah, it's really great. I'll run some clips so you can hear what it sounds like as well. You are gorgeous. <laughs> you are authentic and true to yourself. You are caring. You are smart. And you are simply irreplaceable to me. My greatest gift is you. From the first day I saw you, when you kept staring at me and pretended to be busy with the sound every time I caught you, <laughs> you have been such a gentleman, so consistent in your love for me. I've also got the Tascam DR10L, and it's not crazy, but this is my backup audio now. So I would click this onto the groom. Uh, this is the dedicated groom mic and um, yeah I mean it's 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 always going to sound good if I'm honest with you but for balance in audio between the bride and the groom this on the actual microphone for me is better than this which is only going to capture the groom well Latifah today I promise Latifah, today I promise to spend the rest of my life with you. To spend the rest of my life with you. I promise to love and respect you. I promise to love and respect you. Helping our love grow. Helping our love grow. By always being there. By always being there. I promise to listen, comfort and support you. I promise to listen, comfort and support you. Whatever our lives bring. Whatever our lives bring. And now, the Sony TX800. This is the bride's mic. This being white blends into the dress much more better. And I will have them just basically clipping it underneath their dress with the two holes pointing upwards. And it's never failed me, I'll be honest with you. It's, it's really, really good. Um, and the, it, the sound quality is matched up with this. I have a take you, Osagi. I have a take you, Osagi. To be my husband. To be my husband. To have and to hold. To have and to hold. From this day forward. From this day forward. For better, for worse. For better, for worse. For richer, for poorer. For richer, for poorer. In sickness and in health. In sickness and in health. To love and to cherish. To love and to cherish. Till death us do part. Till death us do part. According to God's holy law. According to God's holy law. In the presence of God, I make this vow. In the presence of God, I make this vow. So yeah, those are the three that I would use for the ceremony. I've also got two Sony TX650s. These are very close in quality to uh, the 660s, um, but they just, you know, these came out first, so they're a bit older. Uh, this is purely backup. So I only have this with weathers, you know, being quite unpredictable. I would attach these to any other mics that I will see flying around. Any microphone. If I just see it, if it's there, I always ask the DJ, oh, you know, they, do you have more than one mic? If he says yes, then I'll attach these as well. Um, because I've seen on multiple occasions, the battery will die midway through. They swap the mic out and then we're covered. And then we have what I would call the best purchase I've made this year which is the Zoom F3. This, this has saved me on so many occasions. This is, um, it's, it's incredible. So it's a 32-bit float, 
audio capturing device um, and with 32-bit flow you just have so much more room in post to you know to stretch the, the, the audio uh, you don't get clipping you can bring it down and this is pretty much plug and play there isn't much to it there's nothing you really have to set you've got two inputs here I tend to have both of them being used during weddings at the same time um, just just in case just you know you just never know weddings I've used this for every single wedding that I filmed this year and I've had zero issues with peaking or, or anything with the audio just being distorted um, or too loud um, or too quiet because you can bring the, the levels up and you don't get the floor noise with it so it's, it's just such a, a lifesaver to have this um, it's, it's changed the game for me Ladies and gentlemen, give it up for the newlyweds, Mr. and Mrs. Olegene! Next up, we have lights and I have the Core SXW Torch LED lights. Um, you're not gonna find these anymore, unfortunately. I've, I've conned the internet. They're impossible to get. But um, I did find the next closest thing, which is this. Uh, this is the Coma, C-O-M-E-R. Um, literally the same thing. This has got the diffuser on top, but you're looking at the same light. So I don't know if this company brought out this company's supplies or something. I'm not too sure, but this is an incredible light. I really like it. Um, I, I just wouldn't be able to do weddings without it. And I take lighting quite serious. So these are the lights that I use. Um, and like I said, if you're after something that is pretty much the same thing, then the Colmas will get you covered, I guess, yeah. The Amaran 60X or the 60D. Um, this is such a good light, such a good light. I I have both the X and the 60D. And um, I mean, if you really care about bicolor, then go for the 60X. If you care about a really strong output, then go for the 60D. Um, this, I, I don't know. It's, it's kind of, I feel like it's changed how I film and I've started to take light and very, very serious this year um, where I can, where I have control of it. But I mean, with, with how small these are and the amount of power that you get from it, you just can't go wrong. I use the DJI Mini Pro 3 for my aerial footage. This has replaced my DJI Mavic Pro 2 and I love this thing. I think this is so, so good. Um, again, being primarily a solo shooter, I've got to keep things as lightweight as possible and this just does the job. It's just beautiful. Um, 10 bit, you know, 4K. That's all I really need. That's all I really. Need. I don't. I don't. I'm not fussed about things like 4K 60, you know, all that sort of stuff. But this does the job. Um, I also purchased the controller with it as well, and um, it's great. It's it's got an amazing screen, and once you you know use a controller for drones, you just never ever sort of look back afterwards. So, yeah. For my gimbal, I've got a DJI RS3, which I absolutely love. And I've got a Manfrotto quick release plate at the top here. Um, and a Xeon quick release on the tripod legs. So I just attach it to this, um, which is just quicker for me, I guess. So yeah, absolutely love this. So that is all the equipment that I'll be using in 2023. I've covered my lenses. I've covered the lights, audio, the bag that I'll be using. So if you have any questions, please drop it in the comment section below and peace.